How's it going everybody? Gimme Ricks here, back for another LEGO set review. In today's set review, we're going to be looking at LEGO Seasonal Set 40260. It has 145 pieces and is recommended for ages 7 plus. As we can see, we have a little rat there, and then we have a vampire guy. I'm assuming he's supposed to be a vampire. And then we have a skeleton there. Um, on, this is just a small box, really cool box art. And then on the back, you can see it's a push tab, but I disobeyed that. Uh, we got some other cool seasonal box art. Let's get right into it. Right here we can see we have our manual, just a normal Lego manual. And on the back we have a cool ad for the other set. Now this set I believe came out in 2017, so it is a few years old. I've built this before, but I figured why not review it because we're coming up on Halloween this weekend. This set does include a couple cool elements that I'd like to point out, including, whoops, including the cauldron, the uh, gate pieces, Comes with a couple of masonry bricks, tree branches in purple, and best of all, you know it, the jack-o'-lantern. Now this piece is very, very cool looking. Um, it is a minifigure head accessory, so it can clip onto a head. I will show that off right now. So we could take this vampire guy and stick this right on top of him. Now he looks super evil. That's really cool. I love the headpiece. Um, this is actually probably one of my favorite dual molded parts just because of how good it looks. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that the jack-o'-lantern does have this little stem on top which connects to a minifigure hand. Who doesn't love a cool jack-o'-lantern piece like that? I would like to get a Lego light brick and stick it within like a trans piece in the top. That way it could light up glowing eyes and mouth. But perhaps another year I don't have that stuff with me today. So I just finished building the setup and it's very, very cool. I'm gonna start off though with the minifigures, of course. We have this little skeleton guy. He is just a generic uh, skeleton. It's not the ball socket arm style. It is the moving style and his legs move as well. And there is no double printing on his face, sadly. But he has two accessories, a uh, small bone and a, uh, uh, I was gonna say a flask, a glass, uh, a glass, uh, for drinking, I guess, with the uh, vampire guy? Dr drinking like a magic potion? I don't know. Well, all right, that's him. Let's see the next guy. Here is the vampire figure. Very, very cool. Um, he has a pretty cool printing on the front of his torso. Yeah, you have like details of like a, I'm assuming that's a ruffled shirt, and then you have a pocket watch details down there, as well as a pocket of the watch going into a tie and etc. Um, his face kind of reminds me of Cole's. I it actually might be the Cole head, I can't tell. Um, he has swooped back hair. I believe this hair is also used for the Joker minifigure in green in the DC sets. He has no double sided print on his head, but on his back, he has a cool 